Watch you guys, got another video here for you on some useful uh, Windows network commands that you may find useful for when you want to uh, troubleshoot uh, networking issues or maybe just um, getting some information on uh, some network uh, adapters and stuff like that or computers that are on the network. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these commands in action and in no particular order I'm just going to go through some here. So first off I'm going to go down and open command prompt by typing cmd and this will open up the command prompt. Now sometimes you will need to open up the command prompt as administrator but in this case I'm just running it as normal. Now the ping command is useful when you want to ping a website and this is used for troubleshooting uh, network uh, problems and you can see we've got a full um, route there from uh, Google so we're going to ping Google's website and you can also ping uh, the IP address of, of a website now I'm using Google here but basically you can use any type of website to try and ping to see if you get a reply and it goes right away through here as you can see and there is no problems at all so that tells me the uh, network is working fine and the internet is working fine so what we're going to do here is type CLS and CLS clears the screen so if you ever want to clear the screen you can uh, do so so next up we're going to type ipconfig space forward slash question mark now whenever you use the question mark it will give you the information of that command that you are using so you can see here we've got a load of options available to us all release uh, renew, uh, flush DNS and loads of good useful ones like that. I'll go through some of these to show you uh, what they look like and how they work and what you can use them for. So basically we're going to, to use uh, ipconfig space forward slash all. This is used for finding network information and you can see DNS addresses, IP addresses, MAC addresses and everything else on here as well. If you've got a Wi-Fi information or ethernet information you can see it all listed here so what we're going to do now is go ipconfig space forward slash release this will release the ip address uh, for that adapter and uh, what you can do is then type ipconfig space forward slash renew and this will uh, renew uh, the ip address for that network adapter that you are using so there's the command right here and you should see um, it renew and there we go it's starting to do its thing and there we go it gives us the information for that network adapter right there that it's just uh, released and renewed and this next thing I want to talk about here is not an actual command uh, just type CLS here to clear the screen now if you use your uh, cursor keys which is your little arrows on the keyboard here and use the up and down key Basically, you can see it's going through and scrolling through all the commands that we've previously typed into this command prompt. And this is very useful when you want to quickly uh, go back to a command that you've already typed. And this is great for quickness. Now we're, now we're going to type in there ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. And this will flush the DNS cache, which will be very useful uh, for resolving issues with the DNS and uh, we're going to do that and if you change the DNS it's also good to run the flush command as well so that is that command there and that can be very useful when you run a, a bunch of other commands to repair uh, any sort of network connections as well now get Mac is probably the most simplest command that you can put into there it's just a simple little command which will get the Mac address for that network adapter there as you can see here and there is the Mac address here uh, which gives you the full information there which is very useful so moving on uh, to the next one what we're going to do here is type in ARP and then space forward slash question mark and this will give you all the uh, commands for ARP and now ARP is probably uh, one of the most useful ones that you use quite a lot which is ARP space dash A and this will list all the information on the screen for all the devices that are on your network or home network or something like that so we're just going to type this out like so and you'll see a bunch showing up on your network here and you'll get dynamic and static and this is great for detecting IP addresses for all maybe your cameras or any sort of device that's plugged into your network NS lookup 
is the next one we're going to take a look at here which is another useful one which basically is going to use for uh, checking DNS records and entries on your network. The netstat command is great for uh, giving you information about your TCP and UDP connections and ports on your computer. The MBstat is going to be used for diagnosing uh, and troubleshooting NetBIOS problems as well. Now this next one called uh, Trace RT, which is Trace Root, it will go along and check uh, right way through all the hops that you're using from the beginning to the end. And you can see we're going to Google here and it will go through hop one right the way through and it will show over a maximum of 30 hops. Now if you're having networking issues then this is a great way to find out where uh, the network problem is and it will tell you exactly what hop it's failed on and you'll be able to give that information to your ISP or network administrator whoever it is that deals with your network if it's yourself then obviously this is good information to try to track down where uh, your network is failing and of course you can give that information to uh, whoever it is that uh, is responsible so if it is your ISP then obviously they will be able to uh, sort and resolve the issue with the evidence you produced. Now if we type task list it's going to give us all the processes that are running on this computer and if you want to kill one of these processes you can use the task kill command so I'm going to kill the Microsoft Edge by typing task kill space forward slash PID and the PID number which is the 8404 space forward slash F and that will kill that process off. So let's go ahead and type these last couple of commands here. This will reset the windsock and this is useful if you're having network issues and you want to try to reset your network. You can use some of the commands that I showed you earlier on as well as these ones and this will reset everything here as you can see. And you should hopefully have your network back up and running when you use a lot of these commands and you can diagnose and troubleshoot your network issues with a lot of these commands. So I hope they've been helpful to you and uh, you should try to memorize a lot of these commands because they are very useful and you'll probably be using them a lot of the time uh, when you're trying to resolve a lot of networking issues around your home or little small network that you may have set up and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope this has been useful. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you've got any video suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Have a great day. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.